So I did a Lakers rebuild a couple weeks ago when they acquired Russell Westbrook in that big trade right before the NBA draft. But since then, they have completely changed their roster around getting guys like Malik Monk, Carmelo Anthony, Dwight Howard is coming back, Wayne Ellington, Trevor Ariza, Ken Bazemore, Kendrick Nunn. There's so many new names on this Lakers team. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? I thought, okay, like I don't really want to do another Lakers just normal rebuild, right? But I was like, let's do an 82 and 0 challenge with the new look Lakers. But for year one, I'm not going to make any changes. I'm not going to trade anyone. I'm just going to let the CPU figure out, or I'm just going to let this go um, simulate a season, and we'll see if this team can win it all. If this Lakers team is built enough to win it all in 2K in a simulated season, yes, it would be nice to maybe capitalize on some of these steals of contracts like Dwight Howard and Melo only making 1.6 mil a year. Like I can pick up. Vincenzo, you know how important that would be, but I want to see how we can do just simulating the year and then we'll figure it out next offseason because I still think we can win 75 plus games in a season, even though I'm not capitalizing on some of these guys like amazing trade value, like Malik Monk. Like, imagine trying to move that. That's, like, amazing. So, yeah, like I said, we are going to just kind of let 2K come up with the rotation, but then they always seem to mess it up. So, I don't know. Uh, do I just play LeBron at the three and start Melo? I feel like that's because I don't really want to play Baze more that many minutes. I don't know why Malik Monk's just not playing, and Taylor Norton Tucker, too. I don't even think I'm going to play Ariza. So, I'm actually going to do something like this. Let's get THT up there. I'm actually going to start Monk at the two. And do something like this. Well, I messed that up. So, and then we'll have a D there. We'll have Howard. Ah, or do I run Howard at the five? Oh, yeah. You know what? We're going to run idiot at the five. LeBron at the four. And then we're going to put Melo there at the three. We're going to do something like this. Yeah. Um, He can get 18. We're going to go like 21 to THT. Him and Nunn can be the sixth and seventh men. And then let's go 32 to these guys. Um, Cool. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We are three and a half star perimeter centric. And before I see you guys, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. So, today's video is sponsored by BetMGM. BetMGM is the king of sports books. It's a fully legal, regulated online sports book that you can play in these following states. Colorado, Indiana, Iowa, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Tennessee, Washington, D.C. DC, Nevada, Virginia, and West Virginia. Either it's the NBA, either it's the NFL, MLB, UFC, PGA, any type of sport you can bet on BetMGM, they have you covered. So as you can see, I'm in the app and I'm going to the upcoming NFL season. You can see kind of the lines for week one, that opening night, Cowboys versus the Bucks. You can see that the over under is 51 and a half. I'm a type of guy, you know, that goes the under on week one games to start the season, but you can bet all type of money lines, all type of spread. There's even a future section where you can kind of look at future things that happen in the NFL, like the Super Bowl winner. Right now, the Chiefs are the favorite at plus 450. The winning conference of that Super Bowl, who will reach the Super Bowl between the team? Those have some crazy odds if you can predict that. You got awards, MVP, offensive rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year, stuff like that. And they also have specials as well, where you can see teams with the fewest regular season wins. Texans are the favorite for that at plus 200. Team with the most regular season wins, Chiefs are plus 350. Is there going to be any team that goes 0-17 in the regular season? That's plus 1,100. Any team to go 20-0 and win the Super Bowl, that's also plus 4,000. But yeah, BetMGM provides a safe and secure platform with great user interface, which makes the betting quick and simple. I just love the interface on the sports book for BetMGM. It's just efficient. You can go in, click on your bet, place your bet, you're done like that. And there's always going to be new promotions being added to BetMGM, so there's always a reason to come back and place your bet on upcoming games. BetMGM is also going to be doing a $1,000 of in-game credit giveaway for this video. All you have to do is download BetMGM, link in the description below, register, sign up, and you'll be automatically entered into the $1,000 USD credit giveaway in the app. Winner will be announced 10 days from now. So yeah, download BetMGM in the description. What do you have to lose? You can be entered in the giveaway and boom, you can make so many bets with that thousand credit giveaway. And thank you to BetMGM for sponsoring today's video. So we ended up as the sixth seed here in the Western Conference, not really where you'd expect the Lakers to end up at the end of the 2022 season, but I, I still think we could win it all. You know, LeBron, AD, Russ, they probably took off their nights here and there. But I also re-signed Russ to AD to long-term extensions because I don't plan on moving AD unless I have to in this video, but Russ, he might have some good trade value down the line. I don't know, LeBron was all be second team. 
Um, and that is it for that. But we were, yeah, the sixth seed. We're taking on the Pelicans in round one. I mean, we should beat them, but 2K loves Zion Williamson. So I don't know if that's going to be the case. Taking a look at the player stats, LeBron averaged 27 and 9.9. This could be LeBron's lowest point total per game uh, since his like sophomore year or rookie year, pretty much. I, I don't know. I don't think he's going to score more than like 25 a game. 24. Well, it's just because like, eh, maybe he will. Just I feel like Russ maybe... And like he, I'm getting older. I don't know. I thought there's a possibility where he won't. Uh, Kendrick Nunn wasn't too bad. He's got a player option. Please tell me it's a team option in this. Uh, oh, it's under. Okay. Wait, it, it has a contract. All right. So we're going to be able to move him, which is nice. Um, and then there's Malik Monk. He shot 42 from three. There's Mello. He was all right. Eh, he was not great. There's Taylor Horn Tucker. I think I'm definitely moving him. I, I think he got a little bit overpaid. I mean, he's he got 33 million at like as a 20 21 year old like he's living the dream right now we'll see what 2k comes up with it's going to be russ baysmore if you really want to play baysmore lebron 80 marcus Saul, nun monk tht mellow ellington howard and then green you want to go with 12 man rotation now nah, we'll give those minutes to trevor reza if anything so all right 2k wants me to do a 12 man rotation we'll see what we got as we're down three to one and we lose in five okay 2k just does not like this lakers team in 2k 21 and 2k 22 i think it'll be a different story but yeah oh monk 36 oh monk not very good he actually still ended up with a 53 percent tree shooting which isn't like horrible it's not good but it's not horrible so yeah we'll just simulate the playoffs and then the fun starts where i'm gonna just try to get crazy here and just Really making so many different trades. The Jazz win it all. Mitchell is your finals MVP. Mitchell versus Simmons in the finals. That would be fun for our 2017 rookie campaign seasons. Pau Gasol retires. Uh, I don't see, or no, Berea, Marcus Gasol, any other Lakers? No. So, Steph retirements, uh, Pop, and Rick Carwell retires. Okay, did not expect that to happen. Jeff Watery, we don't have our first round pick, or we do? We, I think we do. Yeah, it's at 20. Okay, very nice. Let's go here to Steph signing, where I'm going to go after just Owen Masters. We have Gregory Peterson, right? Yes, we do. So uh, we also have Logan Schmidt and Luke Wallace as our assistant coaches. I don't know if they got him new ones yet because I know that uh, Dwino Holland is not coming back and Kid got the head coaching job with the Mavericks. So, all right, what do we want to do? I think I want to move Kendrick or uh, Talon Horn Tucker and 20. I don't know if that can get me into the top 10, but with the Wizards, uh, he's only two stars. I was hoping he would be like closer to three. Do this, probably not. Uh, I don't know if I wanted to move none in a trade right now so i will give you a future i don't know if three second round picks gets this done but we just don't have a lot oh, okay it does thank god so we don't have a lot of draft capital for the future so i don't really want to move those first round picks yet now let me go to pick eight because i'm not trading up uh so i'm just probably gonna go best player available duran went Benchero, all the bigs ah oh, baldwin would have been nice or jd davidson jd okay Jaden hardy's here or aj griffin Peyton watson Jaden ivy i'm gonna go Jaden hardy i gotta go best best player available that's what you gotta do in these 82 no challenges because it's not like i'm a realistic rebuild oh i like his fit no i need the guy that's actually gonna help me win 82 games as much as possible all right so yeah we got Jaden hardy there at pick eight rookie signing picking him up team player options we have none uh and we'll see if we even have bird rights in free agency i don't know i'll see the russell westbrook trade market all right monk we, we gotta lock him up five-year deal sure um, I'm actually going to overpay him a little bit because I might want to match him up with other contracts down the line. All right, so let's give him that. He's the only player I have bird rights on, which is a little unfortunate. Now, I've looked at Rush trades because I do want him. He's four and a half stars. I feel like I should move Russ before he starts regressing because getting Ben Simmons, who's 25, would be amazing. Garland and Allen, no thank you. Oh my God, yes. Okay, all right. I think we found it. I think we found the trade we have to do. Oh man. Oh, man. All right. Russ, I love that you have four nips. Oh, my God. I could get LaMelo. LaMelo, Ja, or Trey. Oh, De'Aaron Fox as well. Oh, my God. I'm speechless. I can get Cade Cunningham. Oh, okay. Um, Shay as well. All right. It's between Ja or Trey for me. Like, those are the guys I want to go after. Ja is making a little bit less at the moment. I also would get a first round pick from the Hawks in this trade as well. I've seen job, you know, I want Jai. I never really trade for Jai. I never really trade for Trey either, but this is something I want to do. Would you throw me this Jazz first? Nope. Um, they wouldn't even counter. That's annoying. Would you also give me Kyle Anderson? You don't have Kyle Anderson still. Would you give me Zaire? Nope. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, maybe I'm being too greedy at this point to try to steal somebody else. Steven Adams? Nope. You're not even countering. All right, so let's just do it. Russ for top of red. Boom, there we go. I know, I know uh, you want to see Russ. You saw Russ last year, but I got to go 82-0, and, and that's going to help me definitely long-term. 
All right, so that was pretty big. Now, do I want to move? See, like, hypothetically, if, I, if I'm thinking, like, Galaxy Brain, 200 IQ, like, I should probably move LeBron just for, like, can I get LaMelo for LeBron? No, no, no. Oh, my God. oh, because this would open up cap space for a max deal. And then, like, eventually in time, like, LaMelo and, and Ja are going to be, like, 95 overall. So, oh, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. Man. Oh, man. Okay. Because 80 is still 28. Let me let me see what I can do in free agency. So, I can also get a Jalen Brunson. He just might have good trade value. I do need some big men. And these guys are all up there in age. Actually, Machas Harrell might have good trade value. So, I'm going to bring him back. Um, let's see. Can I sign both? I renounce the rights on everybody else. I prefer to get Monk over Machas Harrell. Oh, we also have two massive trade extensions as well. Or trade exceptions on the Y said extension. Okay. So, I couldn't even get Machas Harrell. I can get Beverly. I can get KCP back. You know what? We'll get KCP back. I'll give him 5.52 mil. And boom. There we go. So, yeah. We have these monster trade exceptions. Like, what could I get? For Monk and Kendrick Nunn. I get a first round pick from the Spurs. I mean, that could be good in the long term. I kind of want to use some of these trade exceptions. Buddy healed Cole Anthony. Uh, I mean, I could just move LeBron next off season. I don't know what to do. Like, I feel like I should definitely try to move Monk, Nunn, and like KCP. I mean, just our bench is going to be so bad. But like Cole Anthony would be so nice long term. Uh, just because of his contract. I can get Isaiah Stewart and I could flip Demboya. Yeah, because Isaiah Stewart... Wiggins. All right, I'm going to actually do this trade for Isaiah Stewart and Sekou Dumboya. Yep, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to move Sekou because Stuart would be a fine center. Yeah, let's move Sekou. And I'm going to get Cam Reddish. Uh, I like that pick up a lot as well. So at this moment, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. We have six players that we can play. I don't have bird rights on anybody else. So we're really going after minimum guys. I mean, Bledsoe, I can give 11 million. Oh, we have some cap now. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me pick up Aaron Gordon on a four-year deal. Okay, let's do that. And we should get him. Boom, there we go. And now... I, it's that's seven players, so I just gotta sign two guys on the minimum deals. We're gonna go after Compazzo, and we're gonna go after uh, who's that other guy? Uh, Toscano Anderson. Why would you not just okay? That hurt my head because I wanted to sign him, so I don't know why you would just auto do that. All right, whatever. So I gotta make a decision do I wanna trade LeBron? Do I wanna move LeBron for like LaMelo Ball? Uh, I can get Donovan Mitchell. Oh man, like a Mitchell Joff backcourt because LeBron, I don't know, I feel like I should. I feel like I should move LeBron, and I think I'm going to. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this trade for Donovan Mitchell. Uh, do I have to give up anything else in this deal? No. I, I, I don't want to give up Reddish. Uh, can we just do this? What's the problem? Oh, the Jazz would require 3 mil. Uh, I would love a Ke Keontae Johnson from you. Or I'd take a... Would that get it done? Of course not. I just don't want to give up Cam Reddish at all. Ah, uh, really? That's the only way we're going to get this deal done? You know what? I'm just going to move LeBron. Ah, uh, but what if he retires? See, I don't want him to retire and I get nothing. So maybe I'll just do this for Devin Booker. You know what? I don't want to move anybody else though. Okay, wait. Yes, can we do this straight up? How are you not interested? How? All right, I'm signing Dion Waiters, Andre Roberson, and Shaquille Harrison because I'm literally just going to do LeBron for Devin Booker and hopefully those guys like will just, I don't know, have enough trade value to get this done. Really? All right, what about if you give me Jay Crowder, I'll throw in Shaq Harrison. I'll throw in Andre Roberson. I mean, does Com Toscano has some trade value and Composo does. So, you know what? I'll throw in the, guy that, the guys that have one and a half stars. Will you do this, please? Thank you. Okay. So, I trade up abroad. I had to do it. I'm thinking long term. I'm trying to go 82 and 0. We still have these trade exceptions. I don't know, though. I think I'm going to roll with this team. It's It looks so different. <laughs> I moved Rust and I moved LeBron. It's, I know, I know. But I think it's going to be good for the long term. Like, this backcourt's going to help me go all the way. I don't know. We'll see. And then we have some nice young guys off the bench. Let's get going. All right. So we do have three training camps. I like, I forget we have Jaden Hardy. I'm very excited about him. I'm going to send him Reddish and I'm going to send anybody else on top potential. We could send Isaiah Stewart who actually might start at the five for me next season. So I accidentally downloaded the wrong draft class. So let me change that before I forget. So let's go to this rotation and let's see how well it can do. We got Ja Booker, Reddish, AD Stewart with Aaron Gordon, Jay Crowder, Jaden Hardy, and all right, we're going to have to play Shaquille Anderson um, or Andre Roberson. I'm not playing Evan Turner and John Henson. But you know what? I'll actually give the ninth man minutes to John Henson because I feel like we could use a big there. Uh, we'll give him 10. We'll give Roberson like eight. Just, or, yeah, we'll do nine and eight. Hardy, you're going to get 23. Crowder, you're going to get 20. Uh, we're actually going like 26 to Hardy. Yep. Uh, 80, 33. 
Um, let's go 33 to Booker and Ja, and the rest can go to Cameron Reddish. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and let's see if this team can win 60, 50 games. I don't know. All right, so we go from the sixth seed here to the two seed in the Western Conference. Luka wins MVP, Chet Holmgren, Rookie of the Year. We'll see how LeBron did in Phoenix. as Cam Reddish. All right, we had mostly improved on our team. All right, I looked at the Rockets on 63 and 19. So they were the one seed. LeBron, all of the first team in Phoenix. I know, I know. Oh, and he signed a three-year contract extension. Maybe I should have kept him because I'm basically choosing Devin Booker over LeBron. So I don't know. In the long term, I might look like a complete idiot. I probably look like a complete idiot in the short term. So Ross, all of the third team once I trade him to Memphis. And we see no Lakers here, right? Uh, no Lakers at all. Very nice. Um, we don't get anybody on the defensive teams either. Yikes, big yikes. We do get Jaden Hardy on our rookie first team. He was really good. All right, so we're taking on the seventh seed in Utah Jazz in round one. I really wanted Donovan Mitchell just because I don't get Donovan Mitchell a lot. It's really only when I control the Utah Jazz I do. Devin Booker, Vettis, and scoring, followed by John Moran with 21 and 10. Anthony Davis, Jaden Hardy, Cam Reddish, Aaron Gordon. There's Isaiah Stewart averaging 10 and 8. Uh, and then Jay Crowder and John Henson. Miss Crowder, oh, I wish he was under contract again because I'd look to move him. So can we knock off? Oh, okay, so we go 62 and 20. Didn't mention that. So yeah, we we got 60 plus wins. It's uh, what I wanted to do. How many wins did we get last year? 47. So 15 more wins this year. Hey, I would like 15 more wins next year going from 62 to 77. Let's see what we can do in the playoffs. We beat the Jazz in round one, get revenge on the Pelicans, but we lose to the Warriors in seven and they lose to the Bucks in five in the finals. Wow. Game seven, we ended up losing by nine points. Well, that's a shame. How was Hardy in the playoffs? He was good. Aaron Gordon was all right. I mean, he's never like a flashy player uh, in 2K, it seems like. Ja was good. Booker was good. Eh, damn. It's a shame that we couldn't make it to the finals. So do we have anybody retiring? LeBron does not retire. So I kind of uh, was wrong on that. But I didn't want to have the risk of losing him for nothing. Uh, when I could have ended up with a Devin Booker or nothing, what would I rather have, you know? So I took a risk. Uh, we don't have our first round pick in this draft. Yeah, the Pelicans get it at 28. That hurts. I think I'm going to go for a new head coach. I'm going to go after Steven Silas. Yeah, we're going to try to snag him, and we do. And then for the assistant, I'm going to look at... Mm, Logan Schmidt has a really good rating, so let's pick him up. And then for a head scout, we can bring in Walter Forrest. Boom, there we go. I mean, this is an interesting trade. <laughs> it really is. I get Jimmy Butler for Devin Booker, and then I'm getting Bam out of bio for Aaron Gordon. Oh, that's tempting, because we can go Ja, Hardy, Butler, Davis... Out of bio. That's good. I think I'm going to do that. Boom. We're going to make this major deal. Picking up Jimmy Butler. I might give him one year. I mean, I could move Jimmy Butler as well. It's really just getting Bam was huge for like Booker. And I'm fine with doing Aaron Gordon for Jimmy Butler. However you want to look at it. I could get Jalen Brown. Wow. Because then that's like Devin Booker and Aaron Gordon for Jalen Brown, Bam, and a first. That's nice. I got to figure out what I, I don't know what to do. Do I want to run a year with Jimmy? No, I think I want to get Jalen Brown just because he's a lot younger and I get a first round pick. We could use those. So, yeah, I basically traded LeBron James for Devin Book, LeBron James and Eric Gordon for Jalen Brown and Bam out of buy it. It's all right. I don't know. I'm just trying to like make the move seem better than maybe it once was. I say Stewart will definitely be the backup center. Uh, Cam Reddish and John Moran, guys from the 2019 draft class, they're getting the qualifying offer for me. I don't believe I've any cap space. Anyway, I have like eight mil, so uh, yeah, we could just bring back our studs. I mean, I'm going to match any deal they get. I'm going to give a three-year deal to Jay Crowder. Boom, there we go. Why would I renounce the rights on Ja or Cam Reddish? I don't know. So Ja is going to get a deal from the Rockets. We are going to match that for year 124. And then Cam Reddish, I don't think, is going to get a deal. I also still have that Russell Westbrook trade exception, so I do want to use that. So, wow, he wants a lot of money. All right, I could trade him. Because that is a boatload of money. I probably should have front loaded it, and I still can. So let me actually do that. So uh, we'll just front load it, and we can lower that. And he should accept that after. Come on, just accept that, Cameron. No one else is going to give you a deal. Okay, thank you. So uh, we do have a middle level exception on, on Reggie Jackson. Let's give him nine years. Because then I can, I think, use that trade exception with Reggie Jackson. And, oh, no. Because I think in real life, well, I know in real life, you can't use another player in a trade exception deal. But in 2K... I think you can. So, I mean, like, that doesn't have it. Like, I want to see if the trade exception would work. So, like, why? Um, 22. Isn't that the rush trade exception? Can I? Why can I? See, I don't know. Maybe it is just straight up for that. Like, if I did Giannis. Nope. Can't look at the trade exception there. So, I don't know. All right. So, yeah. I'm going to do this trade. Jay Crowder and Reggie Jackson for Dante DiVincenzo and a future first round pick. Just adding on to that. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. Um, I'd like to get one more guy. It's going to be Patty Mills, I guess. He's going to regress. 
Um, you know what I could do? I could probably sign Patty Mills. I could probably sign George Hill. Um, and then one more really quickly. Well, let me get Quinn Cook. And I think I could trade all three of them for like actually a pretty good player. Yeah, I mean, like I can get campaign. <laughs> That's pretty good. And a first round pick. I should probably just accept that while I still can. Yeah, you know, or I can get two first, which is nice. But I need at least that ninth man. So yeah, I'm going to get Cameron Payne and a future first round pick from the Pacers. So here's our player progression. This is going to be our starting five. It looks very good, in my opinion. All right, so let's see what the rotation is going to look like. It's Ja, Jaden, Jalen, three Js. Uh, and then we got AD and Bam out of bio. We got Cam Reddish, Steven Shenzo, Isaiah Stewart, and Cameron Payne off the bench. Okay, so I think I'm going to go like 18 of these two. Uh, we can go 21 to DiVincenzo, 24 to Reddish. He'll probably get moved in the offseason. I just want to see what this team can do this year. We'll go 32, 33, 33. Uh, let's go 29 there. And we got, um, let's go 31, 32, and then let's go 34 to Ja. All right, so system proficiencies are probably what I want them to be. Yeah, four and a half stars, seven seconds or less. And then shot tendencies, let's see real quick. Uh, 85 for AD. We can up that to a 90. Jalen Brown can go down to like an 87. Ja can go up to a 90. Bam at a 73 is fine. And Hardy, we're going to lower a little bit because I don't want them to be too high up. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And let's hope that this team can win more than 62 games. So the first Laker that gets MVP isn't Ja Moran. It isn't Anthony Davis. It wasn't Devin Booker. It wasn't LeBron. It wasn't even Russ. It's Bam Adebayo. Wow. That makes me think that we must have won 70 games just because they had to give MVP to somebody on the Lakers. Gave it to Bam. So I'm hoping Bam. Um, so we didn't get Coach of the Year, though. I'm hoping Willie Green's in the Eastern Conference. I don't know. But I'm guessing that could be our executive and we went 67-15. Yeah, because they're second in the conference. So I'm guessing we went 67-15, and 15, which is what? Five more wins this year? I, I still want to get in that mid-70s. We do get Bam on all NBA first team. We do get nobody on all NBA second. And we do get nobody on all NBA third. There's LeBron. Still playing well in Phoenix. All defensive first team. Uh, we get nobody, but we do get a BAM on all defensive second team. So we go 67 in 15. Still want to do a little bit better. It, it's like, I want to get there, but I don't know what to do. Uh, I feel like I maybe should complete this team more. Like, should I move AD? Maybe just get the scoring more to John, like, or move maybe move Jalen Brown. I don't know. I think I'm definitely going to move Cameron Reddish in this offseason. But I don't know. Uh, 67 to 15, I was hoping to have 70 plus wins this season and then really go for that 82 and 0 next year. Uh, we should win the NBA Finals as we do. Uh, we win in five. Josh, your Finals MVP. We beat the Magic. Yeah, the Lakers won their last finals in uh, Orlando. Uh, so they end up winning it again in Orlando, I think. Or no, in five would have been at. No, it would have been in Orlando, I believe. No, it would have been home. Okay, cool. So we did win it if we were the one seed, which we probably were. So we're going to reject these. Sure, we can actually prove that one. I don't really care. Uh, Jeff Lottery, we might have some other teams first round picks. I know we have a Pacers lottery protected, so we might get that if they were too good. Yeah, so we have 18, 19, and 30. So that's three first round picks we could use uh, like in the draft, or we could use in a trade, which I wouldn't mind. So I also need to bring back Gregory Peterson because his ratings are just too good to not bring back. So I could move Cam Reddish, Steven Chad on 18 for Chris Middleton. I could do this for Sexton and Jared Allen. I mean, that'd be a stud backup center and I get Colin Sexton. It's pretty good. Uh, okay, that one's enticing. Uh, we could get Julius Randle. Could get Jonathan Isaac and Ennis Canner. Jamal Murray would be a super good sixth man. All right, but... Oh, I got to do this one. <laughs> I have to do that one. Okay, wait. I can get McCollum for $0. That'd be nice if I was looking for a max slot. But yeah, we're going to be trading 1830 DiVincenzo and Cam Reddish for TJ Ward and Shea Gilgis Alexander. I just had to. So I actually used the real like 2024 class here and I'm gonna take Ja Jackson at, what is this, 19? Yeah, this is how the uh, top five went. Like Matt Bioli from the overtime, we got Brody in there, uh, Mikey Williams. So for key signings, we got Ja Jackson, a center. Out of IMG, it lists him there. We got Jaden Hardy coming back. I think Isaiah Stewart is gonna be a restricted. Yep, so we're gonna to wanna to bring him back. We'll see um, if I'm even gonna use him or trade him. Jalen Brown's a free agent. Well, I gotta pay him a boatload of money. Player option, I don't want to offer the no trade cause because I could move him. And then I would like to bring back campaign as well. Uh, just give me some cap flexibility. So we get Jalen Brown, Payne, and then I'm going to match or pay Isaiah Stewart eventually. All right, so it's after moratorium. So I'm going to offer Isaiah Stewart a front-loaded deal. And yeah, like I really wouldn't have much cap space after... See, like I can't even offer him that. Wow. Uh, can I offer him that? No. Can I offer him that? No. Okay. Uh, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get him back. Wow, I can only offer him like... 
12 and a half mil. He won't even accept that. So I'm just going to hope to get him back on the qualifying offer. Unless I look to make a trade right now, but I, I wouldn't really know who to move. I can get Zion Williamson. Could I move AD for Zion? Uh, what are the odds this would work? Nope. Uh, what about if I, I give you every first round pick for the next three years? Boom! Okay. I wanted to do it. <laughs> I wanted to do it. I mean, it might hurt us defensively, but like if I gave this team three more years to progress, we might have like five 95 pluses. Like it, it would be that good. I actually think with that, I could bring back uh, Isaiah Stewart, right? Um, no, but I think I would be able to... Let me give you that... What is it normally? It's backload or it's bird, right? Okay, so let's player option that. And then I could give you... Wow, I actually can't... I would have to give you 15.5 mil, so I'm going to have to wait till like the last day to give him that. All right, so in state 10, what I'm going to do is offer him a two-year deal. Sure. Um... And actually, we'll be able to offer him that. So there we go. We get Isaiah Stewart back. Very nice. Devin Booker goes to the Heat. Or he resigned with the Heat, excuse me. I don't know why I got Zion. I don't know if that's what I needed to do. But here is our team. It's incredibly young. And that could be the death of me or our downfall. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a ten-man rotation. All right. All right. So here we go. Coaching game plan. Oh, wow. Everyone's morale is down. I don't know why. But yeah, we're going to go Ja, Hardy, Brown, Zion, at a bio. Shea, Warren, Stewart, Payne, Ja, Jackson. Uh, yeah, let's run it. I mean, do I want to lower anyone's minutes? I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're going to do. Uh, system proficiency is four and a half stars, seven seconds or less. Let's hope this team can maybe win 75 plus this year. All right. So usually when I pause it, it's bad luck and I'll end up losing. And I'm just going to hop in right now that we're 41 and 0. Okay. All right. Let's just keep it going. This is the final year. Please, please. I hate when it's paused for a while. We're 42 and 0. This is, this is, guys, I don't know. Is this going to be the first time I ever do it? Is this going to be the first time I ever do it? Oh, the back to back on the road. It's scary. Oh my God. We're 46 and 0. Oh my God, we only need to do 30. No, no, Washington, no. I thought it was it. I thought it was it. They beat us by four. Oh man, we're 55 and one. Oh my goodness. Oh, and then we lose again to 80 in the Pelicans. Oh my God, and then we lose again. Wow. 54, what were we, 50 and 0? And then we've, we've lost three out of our last 10. That 2K is just like F you to me. Damn it. I really thought we had it. I really did. I don't even need to see the... Oh my God. Five L's now. That's not even like my most impressive record. <sighs> I thought it was at six. What the? Why are we so... Why do we go... F seven. All our losses. Seven, three, two, one point. Oh my God. That's so annoying. We end up going 75 and seven. We go 50 and 0. And then we end up going 32 and 7. Really? You're telling me I can win every single game in my first 50, and then I'm only gonna win 32 out of the next whatever it was, I don't know, 39? Or that was just terrible math. It's 25 out of the next 32. So I don't know what I was trying to say there. It's I would go 25 and 7. 25 and 7! Oh my god, I went 50 and 0! 50 and 0! Oh my god, that hurts so much. That hurts so much. <laughs> Ah, oh, that really does. You know what? I kind of want to do one more year. I kind of want to do one more year to see what we can do. We actually might lose. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. I'm going to do one more year. Bam wins finals MVP. I, I'm going to keep the team remotely the same. Unless I want to make like one more trade. I think, T uh, is TJ Warren going to be a free agent? He might be. And then that's where it gets a little tricky because I'm going to be hard capped so badly. Uh, so we don't have any draft picks because I did this for Zion. Yeah, so we're going to hire D'Antoni. It's like a seven seconds or less assistant coach. That's actually perfect. We're picking up the team option on Jaden Hardy. He's a 90 overall. Do we have any free agents? Uh, please tell me I don't. Please tell me I don't. I'm sure Warren's a free agent. No? Wait. We have everybody? Wow. We actually have everybody. No one's a free agent. All right. We're running it back, Turbo. Let's see what we can do. All right. Here we go. So 2K comes up with Ja, Hardy, Brown, Zion, Adebayo with Shea, Warren, Stewart, Payne, and Jackson off the bench. All right, let's do it. Uh, I'm just going to stick with you guys. I don't know. We started off 15 0 last year. What are the odds we could do the same this year? Oh, please. We, all right. Yeah, this is. Oh, my God. We lose game three. Game three. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? We already have lost three games. Why did I even do another year? Why? Why did I even do another year? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've lost four games. Okay. I don't even. Like, once I lose seven, then it, I, I don't care anymore because I'm not even topping my record from last year. Five L's. We're 18 and five. We're just a typical one seed, dude. Oh, my God. Six L's. 
and there's seven. So they're, oh my God, okay. <laughs> Just now, I shouldn't have done it in a year. So that is gonna be for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. If you want more 82 no challenges, let's see if this video can get 2,000 likes. Um, and also shout out to BetMGM for sponsoring the video. Uh, make sure you click the link in the description because that's where the 1,000 uh, credit giveaway. Pretty cool, right? And just gonna be random person who downloads it. So say, hypothetically, who people download it, you have a 50% chance, but say 2,000 people might download it. Hey, I don't know. I don't know how many people are gonna download it, so we'll see. Uh, drop a like if you did enjoy. I love you all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.